Unit 6 Governing Ourselves 1. Our Goals, Rights and Duties India follows the democratic form of government in which the people elect their leaders who in turn govern the government. The Indian constitution is the largest constitution. It is formulated by the members of the Constituent Assembly. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was one of its members. The constitution is a big book in which there are the rules and regulations along with laws. Basing them, we run our government. It tells us about our goals, our rights, our duties and some principles called as directive principles which are the guidelines for the government to follow. Our goals India follows the democratic form of government in which the people are governed by the representatives elected by them. Every person above 18 years of age has the right to vote. Socialism It means that all the people are equal before the eyes of law irrespective of the caste, color, creed, etc. Secularism Our constitution is secular which means that there will not be any religious discrimination as all the religions are equal. Every person has the right to follow his own religious practices. The preamble to the constitution declares that India is a sovereign, socialist, democratic republic. Our rights The constitution guarantees six rights to its people called the fundamental rights. If these rights are denied by the government, then we can fight for our rights through the code. 1. Right to Equality 2. Right to Freedom 3. Right to Freedom of Religion 4. Right Against Exploitation 5. Cultural and Educational Rights 6. Right to Constitutional remedies Our duties Just as the coin has two sides, rights are followed by duties. The various duties given by the constitution are given here. 1. We must follow the constitution. 2. We must respect our national flag and national anthem. 3. In times of danger, we should defend our country. 4. We must not fight with each other. 5. We must protect our environment. 6. We must keep the country united. 7. We must protect our national property. 8. We should treat everyone as our equal. Directive Principles The Constitution gives some guidelines for the government to follow. They are called as Directive Principles. Some of them are given here. 1. Improving living conditions of people. 2. No exploitation at the cost of weaker sections. 3. Free and compulsory education up to 14 years. 4. All the backward castes of society need to be improved. 5. Maintain law and order, thereby maintaining peace. Let's revise the important points. 1. The goals of India are democracy socialism and secularism thereby making it sovereign socialist democratic republic 2 
our constitution gave us some rights called fundamental rights. 3. Just as the coin has two sides, rights are followed by duty. 4. The guidelines given by the constitution for the government to follow are called directive principles. Do these. 1. Answer the following questions. Conceptual understanding. 1. What the constitution is a big book. Answer. The constitution is a big book in which there are the rules and regulations along with laws. Basing them, we run our government. It tells us about our goals, our rights, our duties and some principles called as directive principles, which are the guidelines for the government to follow. 2. What are the goals? Answer. Democracy, socialism and secularism are the goals. 3. What are the fundamental rights? List them. Answer. The constitution guarantees six rights to its people called the fundamental rights. They are 1. Right to equality 2. Right to freedom 3. Right to freedom of religion 4. Right against exploitation 5. Cultural and educational rights 6. Right to constitutional remedies 4. What are the fundamental duties? Write them. Answer. The various duties given by the constitution are given here. 1. We must follow the constitution. 2. We must respect our national flag and national anthem. 3. In times of danger, we should defend our country. 4. We must not fight with each other. 5. We must protect our environment. 6. We must keep the country united. 7. We must protect our national property. 8. We should treat everyone as our equal. Form a list of the directive principles. Answer. The constitution gives some guidelines for the government to follow. They are called as directive principles. Some of them are given here. 1. Improving living conditions of people. 2. No exploitation at the cost of weaker sections. 3. Free and compulsory education up to 14 years. 4. All the backward costs of society need to be improved. 5. Maintain law and order. Maintain law and order, thereby maintaining peace. 